Hello everyone, welcome to C-Sharp Code. Today, I show you how to create a search box component in Blazor quickly and easily. Let's dive in. Imagine you have a list of items displayed in a table. In my case, I have a list of books and I want to implement a search box to find specific books without scrolling and searching manually. I'm using a book repository to get the list of books, but this can be any list in your project. It doesn't matter how you get it. To create the search book, we'll create a reusable Blazor component that can be used anywhere we want. Let's start by creating a new Razor page and building the search box component. We're gonna start by defining the parameters needed. The first parameter is the list of T entity items. We, we are using T entity so we can use any type we have. You can, for example, here use a list of books, but then if you wanna use the search box for another class, you're not gonna be able to unless you create another Razor component for that class specifically. To use the entity, we need to define a generic type parameter, the entity for the component. This allows the component to work with any type of entity. The items parameter is going to be your list. Then the on search parameter is an event callback that will be triggered whenever the user clicks the search button. The search item is going to be the variable in which we store the user's search input from the input field. Now in the on search clicked method, we're going to invoke the on search event callback and we're gonna pass the search item variable as an argument then we're gonna add an input for the user to enter the search term and a button for him to execute the search now in our main page we're gonna add the search box component and we will pass the required parameters so for items use your original list in my case the books and for on search we're gonna use update filtered books method that we're gonna create now before creating this method, we're going to create a new list of books, but this time we're going to call it filtered books. Then we're going to initialize this list with a list of our books. Now let's create our update filtered books method. If the search term is null, we're going to initialize the filtered books list to the original list. Else, we're going to check if the book title contains the search term. If yes, we're going to filter, we're going to filter the list of books based on the given search item. Let's search for crime and it is working. But now we are searching only in the, in the book's title. Let's try and make it search also the names of authors. Let's test again. Let's search for Fyodor and it is working. Let's search for George. And here we have the two books of George Orwell. That's it for this video. If you found this tutorial helpful, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel. Stay tuned.